good shape. Your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on In Good Shape. With me in the studio is Professor Manfred Tetz. Professor Tetz is head of an eye clinic here in Berlin. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hello. There are different kinds of visual problems. One are very acute and others are more long-lasting and gradually increasing. And with retina detection, it's a very acute situation. And we saw that this, there's a procedure performed, but does this procedure last forever? Well, the procedure consists of two things, closure of the hole and reattachment of the very thin retina to make the retina function again. When the hole is really closed and there is no more traction, the procedure will last. But there's instances where you need a second or third surgery to reattach the retina. There is a risk that in a detached retina, other holes may develop. So in the future, the patient also has to undergo examinations. And to see the eye doctor on a regular basis. Then. Yes. Yes. And in the first place, who's at most at risk for a retina detection? Well, the two groups at a higher risk is the myopes because the eye is longer, everything is stretched, and there's a higher risk for tears or holes in the retina to develop that will cause the detachment. And there's also eyes that have undergone some trauma and you have some scarring from the vitreous retina interface uh, and some traction at these sites and it can lead to acute Mm -hmm. a detachment following the trauma or a later detachment when secondary changes pull the retina off. Mm -hmm. and, and how much time does a person have to go and see an eye doctor with a retina detachment? Well, the symptoms the patient has may be some, um, some rain of dark uh, particles, which is a bleeding inside the eye, or it may be like a curtain that moves into the visual field. And the difference here is is the macula, the center of the vision, still on or off? If the macula is off, the prognosis and the healing is much longer. So the patient should not wait till he cannot see faces anymore or cannot read anymore. The moment he notices the symptoms, he should see the eye doctor. So actually it's acute care and accident and emergency. Now let's move on to retinal vein occlusion. It's a different kind of acute visual disturbance. It's very dangerous. And what are the warning signs here? Well, usually the patient has some hazy vision and he sees everything like through a very dense curtain. It can be a small area or a large area, depending on what vein is occluded. And the risk factor number one here is actually hypertension because the veins and the arterioles have a common um, connective tissue. And if there's high pressure on the arterial side, it occludes the vein and the blood cannot flow. And how's it treated? Well, you try to improve blood flow in this early stage. You can use infusions, you can use uh, aspirin in a low dosage to make the blood thinner so it can flow better. Um, but in general, you have to treat the symptoms, which is the edema, the swelling. If you have a thrombosis in your leg, it swells. So you have to treat the swelling um, and the bleeding. And this is usually done by uh, drugs which are injected inside the eye. It's anti-VEGF, which is one of the components, or some steroid components that can help to reduce the swelling. Eating lots of carrots, can such a diet really help prevent macular degeneration? Well, what we know from studies is that if you take the lutein, the 10 milligrams per day, and you have a beginning macular degeneration, you can certainly delay disease by this nutritional agent. Um, the books are not completely closed yet, whether just taking it at say at the age of 50 or 60 because it's an age-related disease will prevent it to come and occur at the age of 70 or 80. There is some evidence and some hints, but it's not completely clear yet. So it's not a general um, advice that every elderly people eat a lot of carrots and fish? Well, with and... nowadays modern diet intake, we have, I think the 10 milligrams of lutein are something which is yeah. useful, okay. more useful than other things. <laughs> and is, is every single person at risk for developing macular degeneration over age? As I mentioned, it is an age-related disease, so the risk increases above the age of 60. And this also relates to the recommendations above the age of 60. You should have your macula checked like every one or two years if you have no symptoms. And if you have symptoms, you should have 
it checked immediately. And if you don't have symptoms, you can perform a little test. And we prepared a test for our viewers. Um, and yeah, but you have to move a little bit closer now because we have, have this grip with a little spot uh, in the middle of the grip. And yeah, please move a little closer and um, look at this grid. Now with one eye closed and with the other eye at a distance of about 30 to 40 centimeters, try to fixate on the dot here in the middle. And if you can't see the dot or if the lines of the grids are curved or if you see dark or blurry areas, that could be signs of macular degeneration and that means you should go and see an eye doctor. But the problem is, of course, um, that all the TV sets can uh, interfere with this test. So you can go to our website and print this out and see the eye doctor when. What are the first symptoms you have to go to see the eye doctor? Well, if you have blurry vision, if your reading capability goes down, if you see straight lines bleak or in, in waves, that is actually symptoms when you should start seeing your eye doctor. Usually the symptoms come slowly, but macular degeneration can also have an acute effect. If you have a degeneration which was mild and then you have an acute bleeding, mm -hmm. your symptoms can become very abrupt. Mm -hmm. We've got a viewer from Costa Rica, Hedwig Fleiderer, and she has wet macular degeneration, gets regular injections, and those injections don't help. What should she do? Is there well, other alternatives? Well, yes, there's a dry stage, which is just the cells slowly dying, and then there's the wet stage, of the macular degeneration where sick vessels start to grow under the macula and these vessels leak. So they can bleed or the fluid can go into the tissue and decrease your vision. Nowadays we have modern medications, which are really drugs which are injected in the eye. It's either anti-VEGF, which is a growth factor inhibitor, or it is some steroids in a specific air, uh, form that can reduce the swelling of the the macula and they do help in a lot of patients but unfortunately not in all patients. Okay and with what kind of visual disturbances should you see the doctor very very urgently and go to the A&E? What are the most threatening warning signs? The threatening warning signs is any sudden loss of vision or loss of visual field, any kind of things that happen quite abruptly and if you losing vision, test your eyes individually, you see the vision is lost in the eye, it's permanent, go and see your doctor. Perfect. Professor Tetz, thanks so much for being with us in the studio today. You're Thank sure you. welcome.